hello guys welcome back to another android studio tutorial today we are going to learn about how to create a push notification using firebase cloud messaging in this video i am going to show you how to create a push notification using firebase console here we are not going to use any app server so here we are going to create the push notification directly from firebase console so open android studio and start a new android studio project specify your application name now click next uh, select an empty activity click next okay now the project is created now open your android manifesto xml copy your application package name Now open your web browser and go to Firebase console. Now go to the Firebase console. From here you can create a new project. Specify your project name. Select your country name. And create project. Okay, now the project is created. Now select this option. Add Firebase to your Android app select this option here you need to provide your application package name and click the add app button so soon after you provide your application package name you will get a json configuration file here is the json configuration file now you need to add this json configuration file to your android studio project so copy this json configuration file now go to Android Studio. Now change the view into project. Now you need to place the JSON configuration file in the app folder. Okay, now we place the JSON configuration within the app folder of our Android application. Now change this one into Android. Now we need to add some plugins and dependencies. Now click continue. Now you need to add this dependency. So copy this line. Now go to your Gradle script file. Now open project level Gradle script file and add the dependency. Now you need to add a plugin for Google Play service. So copy this line. Now go to Android Studio. Now open module level Gradle script file. Now add this line to the bottom of the file. Now we need to add the needed library for using Firebase. So here we are going to use cloud messaging and notification. So we need to add this library. So copy this one. Now add the dependency. Compile and paste it here. Okay, now we add all the needed dependency and plugins. So now make a project sync. Okay, now the project sync finishes. So whenever your app start for the first time, the FCM SDK create a registration token for each of the client instance. In order to receive notification and data from Firebase Cloud Messaging, you need to provide this registration token to Firebase Cloud Messaging Server. If you want to receive notification and data from your app server, you need to send this registration token to your app server. So here. In order to receive the registration token, you have to create a class 
that extends Firebase Instance ID service. So now here I am going to create a new Java class. Create a new Java class with class name My Firebase Instance ID service. and extends using Firebase Instance ID service so for getting the most recent version of registration token you need to override a method called on token refresh each time when a new token is created the system will call this method so you will get the most recent version of registration token from this method so create a string variable string recent token firebase instance id dot get instance dot get token ok so for receiving notification you need to provide this registration token on firebase console so we have to print it out so now here I am going to print the registration token on the lockcat window. So create some string variable. So private static final string. A registration token, a reg token. Now specify a value for this variable, a reg token. Okay, here this is a variable. Uh, not a constant okay so now I'm going to print the registration token on the locket window specify the tag here the tag is reg token now specify the value a recent token okay now we can access the registration token from the locket window so if your app in the background your application will receive a notification on the device notification tray otherwise that means if the application in the foreground in order to receive a notification and data from firebase you have to create another java class that extends firebase messaging service so create a new java class with class name my firebase messaging service And click OK. Now extends Firebase messaging service. Okay. So if your application in the foreground, you will receive notification and data within a method called on message received. So here we need to create our own notification. So now here I am going to add a new notification. So create some intent available intent. new intent this and target activity main activity dot class now add some flag for the intent intent dot set flag set a flag for clear all the stack top now create a pending intent pending intent dot get activity this now specify the request code now specify the target intent uh, now specify some flag pending intent dot flag one shot this flag will ensure that this plan pending intent used only for once okay now we need to create some notification combat builder so notification combat dot builder equal to new I name it as notification builder equal to new notification compact builder now we can set the properties of notification using this builder so notification combat builder dot set content title FGM notification FCM notification
now set the content content text so now display the notification message notification body so use the argument recent remote message dot get notification dot get body this will print the notification message a notification builder dot set auto cancel into true set small icon select an icon for the notification okay now we create some variables for notification okay specify the content intent here it is pending intent now create some notification manager variable notification manager equal to get system service context dot notification service now type cast this one into notification manager okay now we can display the notification so notification manager dot notify notification builder dot build this will display the notification okay so now we create our own notification now we need to add these services to the android manifest.xml so go to android manifest.xml and add two services so add a service here specify the name first one is firebase instance id service now specify an intent filter now specify an action for this intent filter so you have to use this action name firebase dot instance id event copy that one and specify the action okay now we need to specify the service for firebase messaging so copy the service change name firebase messaging service now specify the action name so copy this one here it is messaging event so change the action name okay now we finish the coding for the application now we can test it so here I am going to use some Android virtual device so open Android virtual device manager so for test this application you need a real Android device with the Google Play service installed or an Android virtual device with the Google API so here is an Android virtual device with the Google API so now start it okay now the virtual device is ready now we can run our application run it select the virtual device okay now the application available on this virtual device so now look at the lockyard window we have to copy the registration token and here is the registration token so we have to copy this registration token it is a long string value copy this one now go to firebase console okay so now I'm going to put this application in the background so if your application in the background you will receive a notification on the device notification tray so now here we are going to issue a notification using firebase console 
so on the left panel select the notifications send your first message here enter your message hello from FCM and here is the delivery date send it now and select a single device and you have to provide your FCM registration token here so paste it here and click send message button so this is the message review uh, expiry date for weeks that is the default expiry date and click send and here is the message status it shows the status as is in progress now open our virtual device and here we got a new notification so this is our first notification from firebase console so the, here the message is hello from FCM so when you are up in the background you will receive the notification on the notification tray so if you click this notification it will open the launcher activity so here there is only one activity that is the main activity and that one is the launcher activity so now the application in the foreground now we can test it again so if the if your application in the foreground you will receive the notification on the on message received method so now the application in the foreground now we are going to send a new message enter your message this is another message from FCM and send it now now select single device specify your registration token and send it now now the application in the foreground now send the message and click send so now the status is completed now open our device and here we got a new notification so now the application in the foreground so you will receive this notification on the non, on the on message received method so if you click this notification again it will open the main activity again so this is how we create a simple push notification using firebase console i hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode